Hello, beloveds. How are you guys? Hey, hey. World family on this beautiful Venus Day. This is Sylvia Mortini, the founder of Life Inspired and Alchemy of Yoga. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I like to just be really transparent about who my soulmate clients are, who my soulmate students are. And so I thought I'd take a moment to just do that again today. So I am calling in to the September 1st through the 29th online yoga teacher training program, Empaths. So this is a yoga teacher training program for empaths. So now some of you may wonder, well, am I an empath? Is that me? And believe me, that's how I was until I understood that word and what it meant. I didn't know that there were other people like me. And then my life really changed for the better once I, once I understood that. So I've been studying with Dr. Judith Orloff, who's a pioneer in empaths for, I don't know, 20 years at least. And I love what she says when she, she writes that, that literally empaths absorb all of the stresses and the joys that occur in society like human sponges. So that's an easy way to check in. Are you a human sponge? And I mean that in a really good way because <laughs> I'm, I'm a human sponge and I like rock that just really well. But some of the qualities of empaths are number one, intuition. So have you always felt like you knew more about what someone was feeling than the words that they were saying? And did you have this sense, this vibration, this precognition of like something that may be occurring or more than what is taking place and you just felt something inside that led you to believe that um, there's more here and it wasn't tangible like data points. It was like very much intangible. And how has your intuition been as something that you use in your life? Have you avoided it, pushed it away, not trusted it, um, been in a push pull with it? Well, that's not uncommon in empaths. It is our superhero power, but at the same time, it, be, it can be something that we're very much afraid of, right? So intuition, number one, and even as part of that, have you always been the one that people go to, to confide in, to talk to, to share? Well, if that's been you since you were a child, literally, yep, that is another aspect of, of being an empath. People seek you out and they feel comfortable with you. Um, now, the third thing is being more sensitive. And empaths may be highly sensitive people, or, but not always not always, but we do share in common a higher sensitivity to what? Well, to our surroundings, to other people, to their energies, to other people's emotions. And even when we're on uh, social media, feeling sensitive to the things that we're reading, or someone else may just like read the tragedies, the world is on fire and just be like, all right, shrug the shoulders. But for us, like we're really sensitive to all of that where you might see yourself needing like social media breaks or you may have a sort of love hate relationship with social media um, where you can get really triggered by it, but you also want to stay tuned into the world at large. And so it, it may be sensitivity to noises, to sounds. So for instance, going to a closed mall, um, if that was always like, you know, I go, but I feel really tired and fatigued afterwards, or I really don't want to go. Or on a Friday, Saturday, like, you don't want to go out to dinner in a crowded place. Um, and really loud noises. All of that sensitivity is um, one of the aspects of being an empath. And then the next one is empathy itself. <laughs> so <laughs> empath comes from the word empathy. And the easiest way that I can explain this is where it's different than compassion or sympathy. 
this is where when someone is going through something whether you read it or they're talking to you you not only have compassion for them but you can feel what they're going through as if you were experiencing it yeah I mean that's empathy and it's one of the most beautiful muscles that we could ever develop in our lives is the empathy muscle um, so empaths that's another characteristics of being an empath and then the next characteristic to know whether or not you're an empath and you're one of my people my soulmate students my soulmate clients is you care you care a lot you literally cannot not care if that makes sense <laughs> but you care about everything so as you ingest information in the world through social media or other other channels you really feel what's going on right you feel the stories of what you read you feel um, the pain of the world and so there's that that experience of of feeling as if I need to do something with this energy because I care so much and I care so deeply it's like in our cells in our bones it's not superficial caring it's like literally feeling the oneness the interconnectedness that yoga talks about as our greatest transcendence that this is our ascension and rising up into that one one love right so how can we not care everyone is our family and and so sometimes it's really hard for us to understand why some people like separate themselves and are like oh not these people not these people not those people um and and i have to say for myself as a as a little brown immigrant girl in the united states i was like well, I don't understand this because how can you push me away? You don't even know me. How can you hate me? You don't even know me. Of course you, like, don't you care? Because don't we all care about human creatures as well as the earth itself, as well as the animal people, as well as the plant people, and all things around us. We care about everything holistically, and that puts us usually on a very animist scale. So in animism, you know if you're more animist or less animist. And empaths tend towards the highest levels of being animist. You know, we care about everything. Um, not just human creatures, but all creatures and the earth herself and the blessed waters and the quality of the air that we're breathing. We care about all of it. Now in that, all of this caring and this energy that goes on we absorb and get overloaded by feelings that other people have and so those feelings and this is a really important thing those feelings can be feelings of great joy so if you go through your feed and you're just like wow amazing thing amazing thing amazing thing amazing thing and you're just like whoa 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 so many wonderful things happening for people in the world and also whoa all of the stresses that we're reading about that that our our family our soul our human family is is experiencing we get overloaded with feelings whether they're amazing or whether they're just really tragic and that's why we need to recharge so that's the next quality of empaths we need time to step away and recharge now what does that look like well it's not the same as being introverted so empaths may be introverted and may be extroverted or someone somewhere there on the continuum but it doesn't mean that we're automatically because we have this desire and need um, to recharge it doesn't mean that we're all introverted it just means we need to step away from whether it's absorbing all this information and feelings through media or actually being with a bunch of people um, and absorbing everything that they're processing but it's really important for us to make time to to recharge 
and and that's a really important quality overall so those are some of the key aspects of of empaths but let me give you one more empaths have a tendency to isolate because we sometimes feel like we don't fit in. And I remember this and I like, and it still happens where, how could everyone understand what I'm going through if you don't even care about humanity and care about all the things that I care about and you're not feeling other people's emotions as if they're your own emotions. And, and so we can get misunderstood. Like not everybody understands like, well, why do you get so tired? You know, or why do you need to recharge? Um, and so it's really important that we not isolate ourselves as empaths uh, and that we find like-minded tribe. And that's why, you know, my programs, which uh, fall under Alchemy of Yoga, but are really a mystery school for the last 17 years are a perfect home and sanctuary for empaths. So I just thought I'd connect the dots, like who are my soulmates and my clients and my students? They're empaths, they're light workers, they're intuitives, they're change makers, they're those that are highly sensitive. <laughs> but all of that, you can just literally say like, if you're an empath, then we already have resonance. And I don't want you to suffer in isolation like I've suffered. I want you to have tribe. I know what it's like not to have tribe and to totally feel like I don't fit in anywhere. So I don't want that to be you any longer. So come into the alchemy family, into this beautiful sacred sanctuary where I'll hold space for you September 1st through the 29th. And know that I'm doing everything I can to make it get accessible because there is so much going on in the field and in the collective. And it's 18 months into a worldwide pandemic. For us as empaths, we're like literally so often not exhausted. It doesn't mean that we feel sad or, or of course we can be happy, totally happy, joyful, but it is an overwhelming time for empaths going through so much emotion, pain, and, and all the things that the world is going through as the earth exhales, right? And, you know, if you think about it, this has been, at least in my lifetime, and probably most of yours, the very most difficult time for empaths that we've ever lived through. And it's one thing to live through a month or two months, but 18 months, this is just getting exhausted. And I can see all my empath friends like pulling away and isolating more. And that's when exactly we got to lean in and find our people. And I'm your people <laughs> and, and our alchemist tribe, they're all your people accepting, loving, absolutely unconditional in all ways. And you are received and we will understand when you need to rest which is why I think the online yoga teacher training program is ideal for empaths. You know, it's, it's fewer hours and we're not physically together. So there's like a tempering of like picking up everyone's emotions and emotions ricocheting all over the place. And we're gonna be recharged because of the way that I've structured it in the live cohort and the entire thing is on demand. So you can do it at your own pace, therefore not get overwhelmed because it's right there. And when information comes to us as empaths, we can easily get overwhelmed because we might be like, I wanna capture all of that, you know, trying to write it all down. But basically I put my program online um, because I've taken all your notes for you. You don't, you don't have to stress about taking notes. You don't have to do anything to prepare to begin September 1st. You just show up and receive. It's so easeful, peaceful, loving, and I really think that it is a soul vitamin for those of us that are empaths. And it's like a little 
antidote, a healing balm to help us like just heal and get a little stronger as we hold the container of ourselves in the sacred garment of our body that we're wearing that's gifted to us in this life during this pandemic because the world needs you to be as strong as you can be and I want to do anything I can in your divine service to to help achieve that so that is what's on my heart how do you know if you're an empath some of the qualities of being an empath and why I feel called to serve empaths through my yoga teacher training program and mystery school of the healing arts these last 17 years so join me join me join me come into our kula kula means community of the heart right so let's create Hridaya mudra just palms open over the center of our hearts i love this mudra and take a big breath in as you close your eyes for a moment with me and deep breath out your mouth inhaling feeling the support and abundance around you exhaling the limiting belief that you have to do it all by yourself inhaling the tribe and the soul family that you've been calling in and exhaling any of the barriers that you've created to receiving and then open your eyes notice how you're feeling and I welcome you please DM me any questions if you want to take a look at the course there's the taster and the link is in the bio um, and if you want the itinerary DM me and I'll send you the exact itinerary if you want anything you just want to chat um, please don't hesitate to reach out I love you guys sending just big love and healing to all my empath community to my soul family to my soul friends to my soul students to my soulmate clients from my heart to your heart may you love yourself love your day and love your life peace for now happy venus day